uh, Ray's here. I'm here to bring you a fairly short, fairly simple um, HUD tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about HUD crosshairs and all regards of HUD crosshairs, such as how to change their color, how to animate them to change color whenever you damage someone, and how to position them properly. Um, in the meantime, while we are loading into the server here, I just want to apologize about the bad microphone quality. I know it's not up to par with the other um, HUD tutorial videos that I've put out before in terms of uh, mic quality, but my headset uh, broke, and the reason I waited for such a long time before making another video was because I was expecting to get a new one. Uh, unfortunately, that did not happen, and um, hopefully you guys will bear with me at least for the next few weeks with this a not so good headset until I can get a good replacement for it. Anyways, we are loaded into the map here, so I will show you guys what it is we are going to be talking about today. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter what team I join, does it? Okay, so first thing I need to talk to you guys about involving HUD crossers is as you can see here, I don't actually have one. Um, it looks like I might, but all of these are actually the built-in TF2 crosshairs. So um, disregard all of these throughout the course of this tutorial because all of these are built into the game and um, I personally don't use a HUD crosshair but I know a lot of people that do so um, just act like these aren't even there. In fact, I, here I'll see if I can get rid of them for you guys just, just for the purpose of this video. Okay, so we will uh, turn it off. There we go. Crosshair gone. Boom. Okay, so now that I don't have a crosshair, let's get ourselves a crosshair. Uh, we're going to switch over to our screen mode, um, not our screen mode, our editing mode, so I can open up our HUD files that we're going to be working with today, and we will do some stuff. So boom, there we go. Um, now we're over here on our, on our screen that we use to do the edits, and we have to navigate to our HUD files. So uh, I have a shortcut on my desktop, but uh, obviously you're going to have to navigate to your TF folder. Once you're there, you're going to go to your customs folder, um, because that's where all custom HUDs are installed now since the Steam Pipe update. You'll find the one that deals with your HUD, so this is going to be mine. Uh, yours will be different, obviously. And then you're going to find the HUDlayout.res file, which should be in the scripts folder. Now, um, as you'll see, first thing, whenever I open it up, is that the HUDlayout.res file is huge really big, a whole lot of stuff's in here, and it's probably pretty overwhelming. Um, the reason that this is is that HUDlayout.res actually involves the positioning of pretty much every HUD element, uh, give or take a few. Um, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't scare you because most HUDs, like mine uh, included, um, label the crosshairs. So you can typically search for crosshair, crosshairs, X hair, something like that, and it should kind of get you in the right category, the right area. Um, also, just kind of a, as a general standard, a lot of HUD makers will put their crosshairs up at the top of the file like I did here, or at the bottom. I've seen that as well. So check those two places first, and then if you can't find them, then just do a simple search. And if your HUD has them installed at all, I'm sure you will be able to find them. Um, okay, so first things first, we need to find ourselves a uh, HUD crosshair that we'd like to turn on. Um, a pretty popular one, one that I'm pretty fond of, is the wings with maybe a little dot in the middle and I do know that that is in fact in my HUD, so there we go, wings, small dot. So first thing you want to do once you've determined upon the HUD crosshair that you want to actually install is you need to enable it. So in to enable it, you need to change the invisible and enabled values of that HUD crosshair to 1, as you can see I'm doing here, and then save the changes. Now if you're using Notepad++, a good way to um, notice if you've actually saved the file or not so you don't get confused is to look at this little thing up here. Um, if it if you have uh, un unsaved changes made to a file, then this will be red. Um, if not, then it will be blue, and you know, so on and so forth. So we've made our changes. We want to turn it on. Control S to save it. You'll see it turns blue. And now let me switch back to our game mode here, and we will hit our switch button here. And with a simple HUD reload scheme, you will see that we have ourselves a nifty little crosshair here now. Um, but let's assume that for whatever reason that HUD crosshair does not look centered and we want to change it and make some adjustments. So that's easy, all we have to do is simply move back to our file. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And um, you'll see a lot of values on this file, but the only uh, four that you need to pay attention to uh, in terms of positioning are X position, Y position, wide and tall values. Now um, I notice you guys 
uh, are probably going to be a little confused with the fact that I said wide and tall, and I'll get to that in a second. But um, first things first is let's assume that it's a little too far off one direction. So you can uh, simply tweak that by uh, adjusting the X position, Y position. So let's assume like it's maybe a little too far down or a little too high or something like that, um, and too far off to the left or right. So we'll just make some simple adjustments here. And um, wow, okay, I don't think that's 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 gonna be way off. So we'll just adjust that a little bit and uh, switch back to our game. And you'll see with the HUD reload scheme that I actually did move the crosshair down slightly to uh, the bottom right, farther down and to the right than it was before. Um, but, and I know you guys probably are like, well, you know, that's fine and good, but on my resolution, or with my HUD crosshair, I can't seem to get anything centered 100% uh, perfectly. It still looks like it's off a pixel, even though I've messed with the X position and Y position values. Well, that's when the wide and tall comes in. This is kind of the secret. A lot of people might not tell you about this, but it's really handy, really nifty trick, and um, it helps you center your crosshairs even more than you can do with the X position and Y position. So, boom, we're going to switch back to our uh, little, little uh, screen here. And um, let's say that maybe your HUD crosshair is just slightly below where you want it to be, and you've adjusted the Y position to where if it's one above, then it makes the crosshair go above where you want it to be, and if you lower the, the Y value one, then it's actually below where you want it to be, and you're like, oh, why can't I get this thing centered? Well, with a simple tweak of the tall value, so changing this from like a value from like 200 to 199, saving the file, and then switching back to our game, you'll actually notice that... Um, it does happen to move the crosshair ever so slightly. It's a bit more delicate of an adjustment than the X position and Y position are, and um, it's kind of a good compromise. Uh, it allows you to be more precise, and if you're really OCD like I am, then uh, it's a good way to try to, um, or sorry, uh, a good way to actually not try, but um, fully center the crosshairs to the best of your ability. Uh, anyways, enough about positioning. Let's assume that we have the positioning of that HUD crosshair that we want down, like it's set in stone, but we don't have the color we want. So, boom, let's switch back over to this mode here. Um, first things first, you need to find the FG color value. Actually, not first things first, that's really the only thing you have to do. All you have to do is find this FG color value because this is the sole thing that controls the color of the um, HUD crosshair itself. And I know before I've talked about how uh, things can be complicated if you don't like you know, edit the value somewhere else and all this stuff. But no, this is really simple. It's really set in stone. You can make it literally any color you want. All you have to do is edit this FG color uh, value right here. Um, if your HUD does, if your HUD crosshair does not have this, you can add it in. That's perfectly fine. But most HUDs should have the FG color variable already added in. So find that if you haven't already, and um, then you'll have these four. Um, numerical values off to the right hand side. Now I've explained what these are before in a different video so I'm not going to go too in depth into it but they're simply RGBA values which means that this first value um, deals with the red component, this second deals with the green, third the blue, and then fourth the alpha value which if you don't know what alpha is it's simply uh, transparency. So let's assume we want our crosshair to be fully lime green with no red at all. So what are we going to do? Get rid of the red. Boom. Red gone. Get rid of the blue. Boom gone. And you will see that now our HUD crosshair will have a value of 0255-0255, which means 255 value, which is the max um, of green, and then zero value in, uh, of both red and blue. And then you'll see the second 255, which means that this is fully, fully visible. It means it's not transparent at all, and it will stick out on screen, and it will just kind of boom right in your face. And that's what we're looking for. So we're going to do again to our save on to our uh, hudlayout.res file. So we're going to control S it. We'll switch back to our game mode here. And then you'll see with a, another HUD reload scheme, boom, we've got the color we're looking for. Uh, but let's take it a step further, okay? So let's assume now that we've got the, the HUD crosshair color we want it, we want it to actually be animated. You know, we want it to change colors or some crazy junk like that when we do damage. What do you do? Um, let's switch back to our HUD file here, and I will show you guys what to do. First step is you need to navigate your uh, HUD animation underscore tf.txt file, which I went ahead and opened over here. So, you know, kind of kind of took a step further, as I'm a, a step ahead of the game, um, just for a means of simplicity for this tutorial. Um, but when you first open up your uh, HUD, um, HUD animations file, it will be at the top, most likely. And you're going to be like, oh, what do I do? It's another giant file, because it is very big. And you can see this little bar to the right is very small. Well, it's easy. 
All you need to do is search, search for damaged player. So we're just going to type in damaged player here, all one word. And it should find something that looks like this, event damaged player. Now depending on what HUD you're using, it might actually be fully empty. That's fine, don't let that intimidate you. Um, but there might also be some things here. And again, that's also fine, don't let that intimidate you. Don't think that you'd, you're going to mess something up by messing with the values. Um, all you really need to animate your HUD crosshair to do uh, a different color or flash a different color when you do damage is these two lines right here. They're very simple and I will explain them right now. Okay, so simply put what these things say is um, animate obviously which is kind of the uh, action telling, telling the game to uh, animate or do this whenever um, you do damage to a player. Um, this first value has crosshair in, uh, in the little arrow arrow dudes right here. Um, that means that needs to be replaced with a crosshair name. So the crosshair we, we enabled is called, as you can see here, wing small dot. Um, and whenever it says uh, crosshair right here, that simply means find the um, field name value of the HUD crosshair you're using. So you can get it from either up here or up here, it doesn't matter. But in our essence, it's wings small dot. So we will fill in wing small dot in the crosshair field up top and then down low. And then uh, FG color, which means that uh, it's going to be adjusting the FG color command, which corresponds with this FG color that we have uh, already in place. And then um, here, it means that the first value needs to be the uh, actual color, or sorry, the uh, the actual color value of the uh, number that we want it to turn to when we do damage. So um, red's good, you know, red deals with blood and all that crazy junk. So we'll go ahead and make it red, and we'll make it a very simple red, it's, uh, similar to our lime green. So we'll just make it a 255 for full red value, no green, no blue, and then full transparency. And then this other thing um, below where it says crosshair color means it needs to correspond with this exact value right here. Um, and I'll go, just go ahead and copy and paste it for means of simplicity. But the reason that it asks for that color is, um, actually, you know, the whole purpose of both of these lines is, uh, it, it says that whenever you damage a player, you need to animate the wing small dot to flash red, or flash this color, um, for one-fifth of a second, because this represents the, uh, the duration of it, um, so 0.2 seconds, and then once it's done that, then it needs to switch back to this numer- or, yeah, this, this, uh, um, color value and then re it will reset whenever you do damage a second time. So to test what we've done to see if it works properly, we're going to switch back to our uh, game mode here. We will go ahead and load into the map TR walkway. And then once we have done that, uh, we should be in business. And again, while we're loading into this, uh, this map here, I just kind of need to tell you guys that um, the only time, or not the only time, but one of the only times you're going to have to restart your game for any HUD changes is when you make an adjustment to the client scheme.res file. Um, other than that, it should typically be fine. Again, let me turn off my crosshair skills so you guys don't get confused. Um, but uh, other than that, you should be fine with a HUD reload scheme. So if you guys are trying to uh, follow this step-by-step -step tutorial and you're not seeing any changes and you think maybe it's because you haven't restarted your game, then chances are you probably made a mistake somewhere because everything should work just fine um, with a simple HUD reload scheme. Whew, that was a lot to say though, so let's get right down to business. We're going to test that to see if what we did works. Okay, so when I hit this guy, my crosshair should turn red. Oh, I forgot to do a HUD reload scheme, didn't I? Silly of me, I was talking about how you just needed to do that, and then I didn't do it myself. Boom, okay, so there you go. You can see that when I'm doing damage to um, a pyro, or any class really, it will flash red for that um, one-fifth of a second, and then go back to the uh, green color that we were looking for. Pretty nifty stuff, right? Um, but okay, so let's go ahead and take it a step further, okay? Um, I'm going to show you guys something even more nifty. Let's assume that we want our HUD crosshair to be enabled, but we only want it to show up when we do damage to someone. So like 99% of the time we may want to use a different HUD crosshair. We might want to use the built-in TF2 crosshairs, but when we do damage we want this uh, HUD crosshair to pop out at you. So we're going to show you guys how to do that. This is just kind of a fun thing. I don't know how useful it is, but I know some people like it, and um, if you're a little confused because that's what you're trying to do and you didn't see uh, how to do that in this tutorial, we'll cover that now. So. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to fix the values on this so it's centered again, so it doesn't really um, 
bother me because I'm really OCD about this stuff. Okay, so um, yeah, that should uh, reposition that crosshair back to where we where it needs to be. Uh, but let's turn it on here again because we want our wing small dot for whatever reason to only appear when we do damage to people. Uh, it won't be able to help our aim at all, but we we still want it to uh, flash just because I guess it's cool. So um, if you if you want to do that, it's fairly simple. All you have to do is um, make your FG colors all zero. Now the reason I say make them all zero is because if you make them all zero, it means that um, they're going to be completely transparent. Um, really, these first three values could be whatever color or whatever numbers you wanted them to be. It's just this fourth number that needs to be a zero, uh, a zero because that means that there is complete transparency. You can't see this at all. Even if it's turned on, it's there. You can't see it. And um, that's what you're looking for, right? Because you, if you only want the crosshair to show up whenever you do damage, then um, you don't need to be able to see it 99% of the time. So first thing you want to do is make the crosshair completely transparent. Next thing you want to do is you need to go to your HUD animations file. And um, really you just have to edit like two things. You just have to have it these values set back to zero. And um, now that we've made this edit, what this means now is that whenever damage is done, flash the crosshair this color, but whenever there is no damage being done, then just leave it to be completely transparent. Now we'll switch back to our game, and um, if we did everything correctly, then you should only see it when I do damage. And boom, there you go, you can see that it pops up whenever I hit someone or do damage to someone. And um, pretty nifty stuff, I guess. Pretty nifty stuff. Really depends on the person and what you're looking for, but there you go. So uh, hopefully this this tutorial is able to help you guys out somewhat, and I hope to do more in the future. I'm sorry it's been such a long time since I've been able to uh, dish one out to you guys, but hopefully you're going to be able to uh, take this and and uh, enhance your HUD knowledge even further. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, you guys have a good day, good afternoon, good morning, evening, whatever the case may be where you're living, and I hope to see you guys back on my channel again later.